one of the neatest places to stop in Florida and visit, and that often gets missed by tourists, is the Kennedy Space Center. It is one of the coolest places that we enjoyed visiting. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you get the notifications when I have new videos up. If you live in Central Florida for any length of time, at some point you are going to get the opportunity to see a rocket launch of some sort. Kennedy Space Center is not too far away on the coast, about an hour away from Disney World or so. And while we lived there, we got to see a bunch of rockets. There were actually even a couple times when I was working at Epcot that we got to watch shuttle launches and rocket launches while I was working. Talk about a neat deal to be able to see when you're working. All of those launches come from the Kennedy Space Center. And you can actually travel over there as a tourist and pay an admission fee and go in and check the whole place out. It is really neat. Your admission cost covers a number of different experiences and things that you get to see and just to be able to get up close to a lot of the space stuff. Here's some of the stuff that we really enjoyed during the years that we were there and got to visit several times. One of the biggest things you get to see, and one of the first after you walk through the introductory center, is the rocket farm. They've got all sorts of different rockets and other things that are set up there so you can actually see how big they really are. And a lot of them are real space rockets. You get to walk right on up and there's engines outside so you can see how big a space engine was and the rockets that are there. They've also got a number of capsule and pod mock-ups as well. And so you can actually climb into these things and get a feel for about how big they really were and what it would be like to sit in one and be in those things during the launch or re-entry. Then try to imagine being in some of those things for three, five, or even seven days at a time. Ick, I wouldn't want to sit this way. And then, of course, you got my sister who's got to go the wrong direction. But <laughs> In fact, one of the really cool things, though, that you can even get up close to is a real space shuttle. When we were there, they had a pretty good sized mock-up, but now they've actually got the real Space Shuttle Atlantis sitting there. And you can walk up and inside and check out how it looks inside of the Space Shuttle and get an up-close look at something that really flew in space. You want to know what it was like to go in space? Well, right next door is actually the Shuttle Launch Experience. And it's a big motion simulator experience that is really kind of neat. kind of lets you feel what it would be like with G-forces and everything during launch. Just a neat little experience there. But one of the things that we really had fun was with all the different exhibits and museums. You can see all sorts of stuff there, from a rock from the moon to different exploratory vehicles, control consoles. You can actually see some of the real space pods that they rode in and the capsules they came back in. There's spacesuits all over the place. And would you like to know what it might have been like to sit and ride in a moon rover? Or maybe even get a picture with a couple of the top guns out there on the landing strip. Or even pretend that you're in a space suit up on the moon. There's just a whole number of different things that you can see to give you a good feel and idea of what they really do. And you never know when you're walking around in all these exhibits, you might actually run into a real astronaut. My stepfather really enjoyed the opportunity to be able to meet and talk with one and share experiences. Comparing his experience as a veteran in Vietnam versus what it was like to be an astronaut. And they had a great time. Of course, for an extra fee, too, you can always pay to have a meal with one, and they do extra question-answer times during the day. But sometimes, just the opportunity to get up close and talk is there. They've also got an IMAX theater that has two different screens, and when we were there, they actually had this incredible footage that, because you're on an IMAX screen, it just made you feel like you're in space. But the highlight of your day at the Kennedy Space Center is the bus tour. This is included in the mission, and you get to hop on a bus, and it actually drives you out and around the whole Kennedy Space Center. They take you out to the launch pads where they actually launch the rockets, including all the Apollo missions. You actually get to see the site where they took off and headed towards the moon. You get to go into the command centers and take a look at the places where the people who are actually running the mission sat and took care of the consoles and controls and watched over the ships and the astronauts. and Just a really neat experience. When we were there, of course, it was during the days when the shuttle was still launching. And so as you're cruising around the launch pads, not only do you get to see the building where they actually assembled the shuttle and got it ready for launch, 
But we actually got to see the shuttle out on the ground waiting to launch at one point. And that was just really neat to be riding by on the bus and look out and there's the space shuttle right there waiting to go. Of course, you had to be aware of the wildlife a little bit as well, too, because it's Florida on the coast, and there were gators and birds and all sorts of other things. And yes, we actually did get stopped a couple times while the gators were crossing the road. Why did the gator want to cross the road? I don't know, but I wasn't going to get in his way. <laughs> as part of that bus trip as well, you actually head over to a big, huge facility where they've got a real Saturn V rocket laying out. The Saturn V was the biggest rocket ever made, and it is absolutely huge and you get to walk right underneath one of them there's a place that you can eat there and a number of other things to see but just to see the mammoth size of the saturn V rocket is incredible honestly the kennedy space center is one of those things that if you're interested in space and rockets and the moons and you know if you've got a techno nerd in the family which my son at the time was just fascinated with all of this stuff it is just an incredible experience it's definitely something that if you're going to take a trip down to Florida, I encourage you try to find a way to make at least one day and go over to Kennedy. We actually had season passes that we bought one year, and we went out about five or six times, and I still don't think we managed to see everything there because there's so many different places. There's actually three or four different tours you can take. You've got the standard tour, but there are a couple others that you can find to take as well. They'll take you to different facilities. Just an incredibly fascinating place. And well worth the stop if you've ever wondered what it's like to be at a place where they actually launch rockets. And hey, who knows, you might even be there on a day that they launch one, and then you get to watch it up close and personal. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little look at another one of the tourist spots in Florida that we enjoyed. It was a lot of fun and definitely worth visiting. If you like this, please don't forget to hit that like button below and the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get the notifications. Comment below, too. Maybe there's some other hidden places in Florida that you really enjoyed. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. Oh, and hey, I can't forget to mention, too, if you like the shirt, I've got official Sir Willow merchandise. Check out the link in the description below to be able to get your official Sir Willow merchandise. And also find the links to our official Facebook page, Reddit page, and much more. Thank you, too, for our patrons for supporting me so much. I appreciate all of their help. Thanks and God bless. You can actually even see what a. You can actually. Okay, that's not what I want. That's not what I want to say. Okay. Including one that's just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna blast my own mouth into space. Okay.